everybody. Welcome back to Heidi's Humble Home. Welcome if you are new. My name is Heidi. So today is going to be my first decorate with me for Christmas. I'm going to be doing my kitchen. As you can see behind me, we have a blank slate. I didn't show you the other side yet. Um, and then I still have my dining room and my family room and my porch to go. A little late in starting as far as YouTube goes. Uh, if I wasn't on YouTube, I'm probably right on time. So thank you for the kind comments. Uh, my husband did have surgery, it went great. I had a lot of kind subscribers asking and praying uh, for his uh, surgery to be successful, and it was. I was busy with a baby shower. I'm gonna be a first time grandma at the beginning of next year and hosted Thanksgiving. So here we go. So we're finally starting. Come along with me and let's get started. I'm gonna start off here with my rectangular tray that I use quite a bit adding these houses that I got at my local CVS last year at the end of the season. Um, I was hoping they didn't look too cutesy and I think they ended up, uh, I think it looks pretty nice. I added my gold reindeer, which was in my last haul. I believe they were linked in my, I think it was my last video. Um, set of three from Amazon. Make note that if you do like them, they're very fragile. I had two deer actually lose antlers and have had to hot glue them. Yeah, so they're very cute though, but uh, keep that in mind. I added some greenery as well. Instead of a riser, which I usually use for my hand soap, uh, I've got a little plate here that came from the dollar store, and I thought the colors went red, uh, went really well. It's a cute plaid. And I do use what I make. I made a peppermint hand scrub. Uh, if you check out some of my videos, uh, I did that a little while ago, and I put it next to my hand soap. So it worked out perfect. Over here, we actually have under our cabinet some under cabinet lighting, but they never really worked that great. Um, so I always think this corner is a little dark, so I added a tiny little tree with some lights, and I just put them on a nice little breadboard. Got my utensil holder here. I usually put it next to my stove, but I switched it up a little bit <laughs> um, and wanted to add a little bit of a red or Christmassy spatula just to kind of brighten that up a little bit have a little Santa I'm going to put in the front. I've had it forever, and um, I thought the corner came out nice. All right, I got a question, everybody. I got these three bells off of Amazon. Maybe you have them. Maybe you've seen them. Do I take the ropes off? I don't know if it's too much, too cluttery. I'm thinking of adding some red ribbon, but I don't know if it's too much red, but at the same time, I think it might look a little prettier. Please let me know in the comments what you would do. I really appreciate it. After I added the bells, I'm adding some of that same greenery that I did on the other counter. And I believe coming up, I do it, yeah, I do it on my tray also, um, just to kind of tie everything in and it, Instead of looking a little too sparse, it adds a little something. Here in this corner, I just added a plate of the poinsettia plant. I believe I used this last year. I use it a lot. And you know what? Some things just work every year. Are you finding that you just don't want to not use them? So I incorporated it again. Uh, it might even be in the same spot. I think it was in the middle last year, but it, I just like it. It's just really pretty and festive, and it works. Just going to add a simple candle on my stove and a dish towel that says, Tis the Season, and that'll be it for the stove. light our candle and next is coffee slash 
hot cocoa bar. Another thing I've had for a while is that tray. And you know on my channel, I've said it so many times, just reuse, repurpose. So I got these little marshmallows for my hot cocoa. I actually love whipped cream. I'm gonna be honest with you, I got them at Marshall's. They're a little funky tasting. Um, I don't know if I would buy them again. They look really cute. They're little snowmen, but um, uh, they taste a little weird. Gotta tell you the truth. <laughs> So if you've been with me for a while, you know I keep my K-cups in the drawer down below. But I wanted to let you know everything on this tray I do use. Frank and I do use it. I don't buy a bunch of things to make it look nice for the video. Everything on here um, we will use. The marshmallow is a little questionable. We'll see how that goes. But we do use all of these things. By the way, I was so excited I found these spoons with the peppermints on top uh, for Christmas at Hobby Lobby. And that spoon there, my girlfriend gave me um, for a birthday present. It says Heidi's Humble Home. It's actually an ornament, but I stick it in with the spoons. I didn't have much luck around uh, the fall for those spoons with the pumpkins on them or whatever, but very excited to find these. And I just put them actually in a little sugar bowl. I've got some... Um, Chocolate with peppermint little candies. I can't think of the the brand right now, but because uh, Heidi likes a little bit of chocolate. And then a little bowl with Frank's sweetener that he uses every day. And that about wraps up that tray. Oh, and by the way, I put my cinnamon. So I have homemade creamer that I make, and I put my a little bit of cinnamon on the top of my coffee in the morning. So I put it in a salt shaker, and that's what you see there. Almost forgot to add my Merry Christmas mug from Hobby Lobby. It's funny, in this corner I always feel like I have to have a tray or something that stands out, maybe because the counter's busy. I'm not really sure, but um, uh, so I put a, a, not even really a tray, I think it's a charger. And a vase that I've had with some berry stems in there and a candle and pine cones but you will see when i give like the recap i do switch this up i just put like a red dish towel with some polka dots um i just felt i didn't like the look of the pine cones and the candle not sure why maybe it'll i'll switch it again who knows and on the wall here i got this from target last year And I added some sugar to this jar, which you didn't see me do, but I'm sure you know what it's like to pour sugar in a big jar. And I just have this house ornament. Put it in the pretend snow. And I'm just gonna tie a little red velvet knot, not even really a bow, but like a little, uh, little knot um, around the top just to make it stand out a little bit. And I have a few bows um, all around my house. I actually have a red bow in the background there. I started decorating. Uh, in the dining room a little bit, but um, anyway, just to tie everything in. And now I have this um, cookie jar, it's empty. I better make something pretty quick to fill it. Um, it's actually very special to me. My mother-in-law gave it to me years and years ago. You're gonna see me putting it on the other side. And in its place, I'm gonna put our napkin holder with some festive uh, Christmas paper plates and napkins. Frank and I sit closer to the TV, um, and we tend to, you know, uh, grab a paper plate and some napkins, so at least these are easily accessible. And then I just have a basket. Uh, I'm going to put some clementines in there, and that should be it.
All right, here's a recap of what we did today. I actually turned the lights on inside these little houses. One is brighter than the other. I think the one with the red roof, I think the light is dimming, or the bulb, I should say, is dimming a little bit, but uh, they are lit, and uh, they look nice at night. I will link maybe two or three of my last videos in case you are new here. I hope you consider subscribing. There's a lot more content coming, and I'm trying to grow my channel. Also, don't forget to let me know about the bells and the rope. Um, I'm thinking I should do some red velvet ribbon, which would tie into other things, but we'll see. Let me know. And as I mentioned, I added uh, a dish towel instead and took out the pine cones. I think it looks a little bit nicer. All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by. I have a lot more content coming. I still have to do my dining room and the family room and the porch. So I hope to see you soon. Uh, I hope you like what I did today and maybe gave you some inspiration if you have not started decorating yet. Have a great day, everybody. See you soon.